uh, just leaving wonderful Oasis de Capistrano. It's a lovely, lush, beautiful uh, oasis in the middle of what's normally a rather dry scenery. So we're going to see, get some footage of the the, the windows going in to the villas today. So Christina's already gone off, and uh, I'm going to make my way over there now. It's a lovely day for it. Right, just got on site. The kitchen's here. Starting in the small house. We have arrived. We have the windows. We've got a lot of glass. I thought it would be more than this, to be honest. This is not the car we ever really. Okay. So this is super, super triple glazed security glass. Um, we went for anthracite uh, carpentry. I just think it looks fresh, modern. Um, white to me, just, I don't know. I've got memories of growing up in the 80s and white double glazing. Um, it's just not really something that... Well, no, it's a bit of a feature in itself, really, isn't it, with the white house and the anthracite windows. It'll stand out more. Yeah, I mean, because we've got slate everywhere. I mean, we've got natural, uh, natural slate pizarra, they call it, in Spain. And, um, you know, it's going to work well with the anthracite windows. So, the little house is going to have its window uh, kitchen done. That's we are going to have to think of better names. We're gonna have <laughs> We've got to do... <laughs> Sorry, yeah. We do have to think of names. We're, we're, we're still in uh, <laughs> debate. All right. Uh, anything new? Well, we you filmed this yet? Today. There's the bath that's going in. Anyway, but oh, now we've got all the glass. All the glass. Oh, that's wonderful. Now we have... The floating stairs are done. That was a big, was a big thing. Ah, it's going to be amazing. We've got to choose the colour still. <clears throat> we do have to choose the colour. Uh, the floating stairs in the other house, we're probably going to borrow um, maybe like a terracotta colour that's in uh, the stone, this stone here. Try, probably want to try and borrow a colour out of there. Maybe some orangey, coppery kind of colour for the stairs. Bronze. There's, they do some nice bronze uh, effect. It's like the first window here. Right, it's the first window. Nice big window. Fantastic. No, here. There we go. La, las de abajo, el, co el de la cocina está muy preocupado, que no hay ventana. Ya, pero es que yo se lo he dicho a Pablo, digo, Pablo, como tú veas, hombre. Él me lo ha dicho, tres veces ya he cambiado la fecha de la cocina, digo, mira, lo cambio, no, 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 que, que bien. Nosotros llevamos un poquito la semana, pero claro, me falta que me traigan las grandes. Yo en el momento que lleguen, es el día dos con ellas. ¿Ah, no han llegado? No han llegado, porque están fabricando, son materiales más especiales y estamos también... So, the drama of the day, now we're on site, the kitchen people are here and they're saying that the the extraction tube for the kitchen extractor fan isn't is it done, is it there, I don't know, we've got to try and get to the bottom of it, it was always spoken with the constructor that it's got to go up through um, from the kitchen, it can't just go out straight away. I, I, I've got, to talk, I've got to find out. This is all happening literally right now. So what's happening then? Yeah, he's finding me a solution. You're not filming it? So 
Yeah, we want the, the problem is that so much tubing that's in the way to give the extractor a straight line out because it has to go out. But he said that he was going to do it through up through the yeah, house. Yeah, he said. Has he not done it? Okay, so getting to the bottom of it now. These things just happen. They happen. You find a way around it. So apparently there's a pipe. Oh, there's some tubing in the way. They basically they should have waited to put the uh, full ceilings in, but we were trying to get because we were delayed with the windows. The windows have come so very very late because they had to be made specially because of the wind. Um, because there's such a large area of glass. So what's happening? They've tried to get everything else done so that the last thing basically was the kitchen. Um, but in the end the kitchen's arrived and so there's a tube that's in the way that's stopping the... Well actually there's two things, there's two things. One of them is that this magical pipe which is supposed to be going up through to the ceiling, to the roof doesn't appear to be there or they can't see a way to connect to it and uh, to then just exit the tube out the side of the house I'll show you um, around here um, there's some tubing in the way in the, in the full ceiling so they've got a builder and it's going to be alright in the end because they're going to bring this down. They're going to bring down like we've got in the other house. So we're basically going to get what we wanted that we said we couldn't have because of the extractor, but now we're going to get it anyway. Tell me, what did Pablo right, say? So the windows, they're either going to be here tomorrow or Wednesday. He's waiting to find out. That's the, the gruer's coming. He's going to make sure we've That's got a, crane. Bigger, a crane, sorry, yeah, a big enough crane to lift the jacuzzis down. Yeah. It's probably going to have to be slightly bigger so we can get the jacuzzis down because the windows only actually have to go down to floor, uh, ground floor level because he's got to go in the basement. Um, and he he said, "Do I like? Do we like the idea of the extractor option?" And I said, "Well, we that's all we always wanted was the leads around the top anyway, so yes, we're fine." Because he thought we didn't like that. So. But what happened to this tube that was supposed to be going up to the... He says we must have misunderstood something because extractors never go up that way. He said most houses will put carbon filter extractors in, but I don't really like carbon filter no, extractors. It's never, it's always been... So, no, he's saying that that was an... It, we can check the same, that's, that extractor will fit a carbon filter as well, but I don't want to be changing filters in the damn thing. And he says, well, as long as they can do what that needs to be done, it's going to look good, it's going to be exact dimensions of the, of the island, so he'll get them in to do it. The sisters will come as soon as they're finished. Good. Right. And he's going to go and get some plastics to seal the kitchen area. All right, so we're good. Yeah, everything's good. It's what happens, it's what happens. Something happens and then you talk to the man and then they find a solution. That's the one thing I've got to say. I've got to say that he does get answers <coughs> to problems yeah. fairly quickly. So, Well, this is one of the rooms where... <coughs> oh, this is one of the smaller bedrooms. Um, They've gone and put the TV uh, sockets and the wall sockets on this wall, whereas we've got a pillar here, and because of that pillar, you don't. Well, it makes sense to have the TV over there anyway, because you don't want to. You can't have a bed against the pillar like that. So, you know, especially when you've got the view like this, you want to have your head over this end looking that way and TV over there, so we've had to get them to move, which is they're, they're cutting all this stuff out and then um, bringing it over the, over the ceiling, over the roof to this point. So all these kind of things you just have to kind of figure out along the way really, unless you've got everything planned out in advance, which is actually quite difficult to think of everything. Alright guys, so it's, um, it's the end of the day on just, uh, Monday night. And I just wanted to show you this. This, this is the hustle. This is the real hustle when you got the kids in bed after a hard day at work. You know, we had all sorts of trials and tribulations with the the kitchen guys and the window guys. And you know, it gets to nine o'clock. Kids are in bed. Mrs. has gone out for the night with her friend. She's got a visitor over. And the real hustle is 
you bring the washing in. You know, you bring the washing in. It's very unglamorous, you know. Real entrepreneurship is quite unglamorous, you know. This is my rather modest house, you know. God knows it would be very expensive in England, but over here, this is like 500 euros a month I'm paying. 500 euros a month. Because um, I'm putting everything in the business, literally everything. Like the houses we're building. We're not going to live there. You know? We're building our, um, you know, it sounds a bit cliche, but we're literally building the empire. We're putting the business first, we're building our stuff, we're, we're sucking it up, we're slumming it for a bit. And, you know, when it gets to the point where we think, hang on, we're doing all right. Then, fine. But until then, if people want to come to these wonderful houses which you've built for this purpose, then um, then great. That's what they're for. That's what they're for. But, you know, a young family growing up, this is fine. But this is the real entrepreneurship. This is, this is how I see it anyway. Just um, suck it up. You don't need to spend all the money on making yourself look good. And there's far too much of that. I've been guilty of that in the past. For sure. For sure. But um, but this is the real. This is the real stuff anyway. Alright. Just a thought before I put the washing away. <laughs> Alright.